Hey guys, today we're gonna to be looking at Canva Pro's video editor. I bought Canva Pro with my own money. This video is not sponsored. As always, I give you my honest opinions. You're gonna see me use it. I'm gonna give you a little bit of a tutorial, and then I'm gonna give you my final thoughts at the end like I always do. Let's just dive right into it. Okay, here we are on the Canva platform. I'm going to select video right here in the top center of the screen. And there's all sorts of templates here, you know, for TikTok, LinkedIn video ads, video messaging, Facebook video. Let's just start with a blank video template and let's get a quick tour of the interface. Right here in the center is your canvas. So this is where you'll be able to see what your video looks like as you're building it. Down here is what's called a timeline. So you'll be able to see all the different clips laid out in chronological order down here. And over here on the left is where you can pull all of your elements from. We've got templates. They have tons of templates in here. If you know anything about Canva, you know that they've got lots and lots of templates for you. There's other elements we can incorporate as well. Um, videos that we've uploaded, we can upload our own videos, text. Um, you could just pick plain text here or they have these pre-designed text templates. There, it's, it almost feels endless. There are so many text templates in Canva, which is one of the things that makes Canva really cool. Here we've got audio. So there's all sorts of different music tracks that we can pull from. They're uh, separated by kind of category. And then you've got the see all where you've got lots more tracks. I mean, you just keep scrolling and they just keep going. Videos here, they have their own stock video that you can pull from. These are pretty high quality videos. So if you don't have any to upload yourself, you can do that. You can also search here in the search field. Then you can link your other social media and file sharing sites here. So right here, I've got it linked up to my Dropbox. I can pull right from Dropbox. You can pull from Facebook. I've uploaded my own logos here. And there's all sorts of different apps and integrations here that you can pull from. And then they even integrate with other software and programs. And it kind of tells you in what ways you can use those apps in your projects. Like here for Bitmoji, you can add your Bitmoji avatars to your designs, which is also pretty cool. All right, let us start with the videos we've already uploaded. I've got two clips here, but if I wanted to add more, I would just pull up, let's say my Dropbox, and I've got a couple other video clips I wanna add. I can just drag them, and there they are. So now that we know our way around Canva a little bit, let's just start building a video. So I'm gonna grab my first clip here, and I'm going to click it, and it's gonna drop it right into my canvas, and we can see what yes, this clip yes, is. Yes. It's a little bit long, so I can trim it down here in the timeline by selecting this box where I can see my video and then grabbing the edges and just trimming off some of the length. And then I can review it by hitting the play button. Yes, the Yeti tab, yes. And you can see here that my video is not filling the whole frame. So I can scale it up by grabbing the handles and scaling up. And then if I wanna add my next shot, I just hit this plus sign here for add page and then select the next shot that I wanna incorporate. And again, I'm gonna resize it and trim it so it's not so long. And let's add one more shot here. I'm going to select this one and trim it down. All right, let's jazz this up a little bit by adding some transitions in between our shots. So to do that, we're just going to look down at our timeline. See this little circle with the plus sign? I'm gonna click it. It's kind of hard to see. I'm gonna zoom in real tight here for you. And I can either add a new page in between these shots, which is not what I want, or I can add a transition. Let's select transition. And these are the transitions that come with the Canva Pro. I'm gonna say this is not enough transitions and I actually don't really like any of them. The only one that I find to be decent is the dissolve and everything else is cheesy, like really basic. I'm very surprised that these are the only transitions that Canva offers because Canva offers so much, which is why people love it so much. So I definitely think they could do better here 
but let's just pick a dissolve. And if we want to play it back, just queue up our playhead here by selecting on the prior clip and then hitting the play button. Now let's add a little pizzazz to our project by adding some text. So I'm going to select the text menu here on the left side of the screen. And let's select this one, feeling cute. So I just click it and it automatically pops onto this frame that I'm queued up on in my timeline. So it's only gonna be over this particular shot. Now I can obviously reposition and resize this text. And then to modify the text, I just click in it. I can select the whole word. I'm gonna change that. I'm gonna change this one as well. But what if I wanted to change these fonts? I can just select this first text and head on up to the top left-ish part of the screen. This dropdown gives me all of my fonts. And you guys, Canva has so many fonts. Like holy moly, almost overwhelming, but also awesome. So, so, so many fonts. We're still going guys. We're still going. We could be here all day with these fonts. So let me just pick something. I don't even know. What are we going to pick? All right. I'm going to pick a second font for this text here. I'm going to highlight it. And again, head over to fonts and try to find another one. There are so many in here. You guys, while I'm trying to pick something in this insane menu of fonts, if you're enjoying this video, let me know by giving it a thumbs up, hitting that subscribe button and ringing the bell so you never miss a future upload. All right, so now that I've selected my font, I can make more adjustments to the style. So I'm gonna select this word stylish here and let's select effects. And you can see that there's different style options. So right now it's got an outline and drop shadow look to it. Let's pick something else and we can make a lot of modifications here. You can even pick any color of the rainbow using these sliders or they have pre-selected colors that, these are great colors. I actually really like these. Let me modify this one as well. Okay, now that I've got my text all sorted out, let's add some fun to it. I'm gonna head up to the top center of the screen and select animate, and I can make this text do different things. And in fact, I can apply different animations to the different lines of text. So why don't we make this one pan and let's select this one here and make it rise. And now let's head on down to our timeline and see what we've done. I'm gonna queue up my playhead to the prior shot Hit play. That looks pretty good to me. And now the last thing I'm going to show you really quick in this demo is I'm going to add our logo to the top right of all of these clips. So to do that, we are going to go down to logos where I have already uploaded my logo. I'm going to select this one and I'm going to shrink it down and I'm going to put it right up here. Because I'm selected on this first shot, that is where the logo is overlaid. Now I could individually bring it into each of these other clips. However, I want the placement to be exactly the same. So what I can do is I can click on it in my canvas, right click and hit copy, and then selecting the next clip, right clicking in the canvas and hitting paste. And again, for the next clip as well. Now let's add some music to this. Remember that really sizable music library that Canva offers you? Just go over to the audio menu on the left side of the screen. And let's select something pop. We can preview it by hitting the play button. All of these pop songs have vocals. If I wanna look for clips that don't have vocals, I'm gonna head up to the search field, select this icon and just select instrumentals and hit apply filters. All right, we're gonna select this one and I'm gonna cue up my playhead to the beginning of my timeline and I'm just going to select that clip by clicking on it and it's dropped it right into my timeline to the end. I'm gonna queue up my playhead to the beginning of the timeline and I can hit the play button or I can just hit the space bar to play it. Yes, the game. Yes. 
And if I want to adjust the volume, I just select the track, get this little ellipsis icon, select volume, and I get a menu at the top right of the screen where I can dial down that volume a little bit. And then you also might notice that if you look at the waveforms on this track, it gets off to kind of a slow start. So I'm going to trim the beginning of this music, bring it down in my timeline and bring it to the end. All right, there's my finished video. One other feature that we didn't really talk about that I do want to show you and I don't want to miss out on is the ability to record yourself directly into camera using your webcam. So to do that, you could do that from a few different places. You could go to uploads. And if we select this record yourself button, you'll see that my webcam image pops up in the screen and I can hit this record button to just start recording. Obviously I don't have my webcam set up properly right now, so it doesn't look that great, but you could do that. And I do think that, that is also very cool. You could also just do audio if you were trying to record a voiceover. And there's even an option here where you could do a screen share and record your entire screen. This is very meta right now <laughs> what we're seeing. You could do a window, you could do a Chrome tab. So there are a lot of options here. And then let's check out our export options. So first let's hit this little ellipsis at the top right of the screen. You can create a custom link and copy it and email that link to people, which is really cool. Canva will host it for you. You can download it. You can share it right to Facebook or to Google Drive or email or a lot of other ways to share these videos. Of course, I'm interested in the download option because I like to see what kind of file types we can choose from. And of course, it's just MP4 videos. These other file types are really just images. We can share just per page, which is kind of interesting. And then let's just download it. And I'm curious as to what the size of the file ends up being for this uh, 13 second video. Yes, we get it. Okay, and it gave me a HD file type. So 1920 by 1080 is the dimension, even though the original dimensions on these video clips were shot with my iPhone in 4K. So it did downsize and degrade the quality of the video clips, but HD is great. It's still pretty standard. So I'm not too bad about that. I would love to see them be able to offer a higher resolution file type in the future. So what are my final thoughts on Canva for video editing. I think that the user interface on Canva is really intuitive. I love the amount of accent graphics you can add. Their stock video library on the pro version of Canva is really good. There's a lot of stock photos you can pull as well. Um, and I think that it's a really solid editing platform. Of course, the number of fonts in Canva is astounding, as are like the pre-designed text layouts that Canva offers and that their designers have already created. So I love that. I loved how many options there were for the way the fonts could kind of bounce into the frame. I thought that was great. Where I think Canva might be lacking is in the transitions between video clips. I already said, not a fan of that. The other thing that I really think kind of bugged me about this editing experience was that I could not adjust the volume on my original clips. I could not find that anywhere and I have Googled it and I've spent a lot of time trying to find where I can reduce or mute the audio track from my clips. And I cannot find anywhere to do that. If you know where it is, let me know in the comments. Canva, if you're watching and that is not a capability, you need to add that because you could hear me talking in the background on these clips. And it's very common in professional video editing that you might lower the volume, the natural sound on your video clips or mute it altogether. So that did kind of aggravate me. But what's amazing about Canva is the way that it integrates with so many other platforms and just not only the video editing capability on Canva, but all the other things that Canva does. That's why people love it so much. It really has beautiful 
really trendy and trend setting templates, which is really unique. And I just think Canva is an awesome platform, but I probably don't need to tell you that, right? If you haven't checked out Canva yet, I'm gonna link to it below in the description box. I really appreciate you guys watching this video today. I picked out some other videos that I think you're really gonna like, and I will see you again.